Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and today Apple finally announced WWDC 2024 or the Worldwide Developer Conference. They officially announced it on developer.apple.com and you can see it here. So it says it's from June 10th to the 14th, which I suspected it would be the first or second week of June. So definitely the second week of June. And if we go into this, you'll see it says, join us online for the biggest developer event of the year. Be there for the unveiling of the latest Apple platforms, technologies, and tools. Learn how to create and elevate your apps and games, engage with Apple designers and engineers, and connect with the worldwide developer community, all online and at no cost. If we scroll down, of course, we can add it to our calendar. And then it says special event at Apple park. Now, if you're a developer, you can request to attend. If I do get a press invite, I will attend. However, I'm not going to request to attend as while I do have a developer account, I'm not developing any apps at this time. And I don't think it would be fair to limit those developers that need to go. Also, it says WWDC 24 online, as well as the Swift student challenge. And they have this every year where it says the Swift student challenge supports and uplifts the next generation of developers, creators, and entrepreneurs. On March 28th, we'll announce this year's winners who will be able to attend the special event at Apple Park. We'll also recognize 50 distinguished winners who will be invited to Cupertino for an extraordinary three-day experience that includes the special event at Apple Park. So again, this is going to be an in-person event, probably where they watch it on a screen together in the Steve Jobs Theater or maybe outside. It depends on what they decide to do, but last year, every Everyone was outside and they've been doing that for a while. Also, if we go back to Twitter or X, Greg Joswiak says, this is going to be absolutely incredible. So we're expecting a lot of things this time around. And the first thing is of course, iOS 18. Now iOS 18 supported devices so far, we're hearing that they're going to support the exact same devices. That means the current devices we have all the way up to the latest 15 pro and 15 pro max, the iPhone 16 pro and 16 pro max, when those come out later on all the way back to what we have now with the 10 S and 10 S max. So whether you have an iPhone 11, 11 pro max or something else, you'll be able to use that. Hopefully now that could change by the time this releases. We won't know hundred percent until iOS 18 beta one is released. As far as when iOS 18 beta one should be expected to be released. Typically it's right after the event. If we go to the Apple developer app, of course it's June 10th. And based on that, usually we have a keynote event where they show off the latest version of iOS, iPad OS and others. And then right after that, usually around three or 4 PM Eastern time, we'll have the release of the first betas. So that's what we can expect. If Apple Apple continues to do it the same way they have every year. And if we go in here to learn more again, you can see basically the same thing in the developer app. You can go back and forth if you want to do that. It's not really working right now, but if we go developer app, we're already in it. It brings you to the website and it sort of goes back and forth, but either way it's in here. And as far as iOS 18, it's expected to be the biggest update ever. The first or latest rumors that we've been hearing is that Apple will actually allow us to change where the icons are on the home screen. This is something Apple users have wanted for many years where we can maybe leave spaces or just have rows depending on where we want to place them, not top to bottom, left to right. So that's something that leaves odd spaces like this. And we would love to see this where we could just place it wherever we want. I just hope it's not sort of difficult to move things around like it is with the lock screen where you have all of these different options. Hopefully it will be very simple and easy to use. The other thing we're expected to see is updates to the free form app where it's going to help you better navigate the free form app. So that's something we expect them to update as well as additional features with maybe hearing aid mode, according to Mark Gurman for accessibility. So if you have AirPods pro two or maybe future AirPods updates, we could have some sort of mode with that where we could use them as hearing aids. Also, we're expected to have other accessibility features and AI. Apple is working and buying a lot of AI companies. They've worked with Gemini, with Google, they've worked with Baidu and even open AI as well. Maybe to use some of their models, patents or something else. We already know for sure that Apple is going to be bringing RCS messaging. We know that for sure. They've already told us that. And one thing I think many people have been asking for is split view. Now I talked about this last year. We thought iOS 17 would have it. Apple has it on iPad OS, but we don't have it on iOS just yet. So maybe we'll see split view in the future. Maybe we won't. Also, they continue to update the battery settings screen and hopefully they update it again where they give us better information here and maybe 
time with screen on time since last charged, not in a 24 hour period. I would love to see that with updates to battery health optimization and much, much more. Also, of course, one of the main things many of us want is stability. So this is expected to be a huge update. Hopefully it's some sort of rewrite to add that stability, make things more consistent and hopefully have some sort of redesign in general. Now, also we're expecting other updates. iPad OS 18 should have similar updates and watch OS 11 is expected to actually be a pretty small update. So if you're using an Apple watch, watch OS 11 is expected to be minor. They sort of redesigned it quite a bit last year with watch OS 10. Of course, TV OS and HomePod OS 18 are expected and vision OS two is also expected for Apple vision pro with a code name of constellation, according to Mark Gurman. So we're waiting for that. We don't know what that will entail just yet. So far though, there's nothing about the Mac. We have no idea what the Mac is going to have and we don't know if they're redesigning it, doing something dramatic. We just don't know at this point, there's been no leaks or rumors at all about it. As far as hardware available at WWDC, we could see some updates to things such as AirPods. We don't know that for sure. Mark Gurman has said to expect them later in the year, but AirPods two and three are expected to be replaced with AirPods pro three coming later next year. Also, we could see updates to Mac mini and Mac studio to bring them up to the M3 chipset and maybe something completely unexpected. Sometimes we see hardware such as the Apple vision pro last year. Sometimes we see nothing. So we'll have to wait and see what Apple does, but I'm looking forward to see maybe hopefully a surprise we haven't heard about yet. As far as the iOS 18 public release, typically we have that release sometime in September that coincides with what we have with the iPhone. So iPhone 16, iPhone 16 plus iPhone 16 pro and iPhone 16 pro max. Typically they'll launch the iOS 18 update about a week or so before that releases to the public and the phone launches. That's usually what we can expect. So we'll have a bunch of betas from WWDC all the way up until September, and then we'll get the final release. Then that's usually what Apple does. Also, we're still waiting for iOS 17.5 beta one, and I would expect that as soon as tomorrow. Last year, Apple announced iOS 16.5 beta one, and then the day after they announced WWDC. So this time they just might flip that around, but it seems like they could announce that or release that anytime this week. I would expect that now that we have WWDC's announcement. Of course, the WWDC invites will go out a little bit later, usually in April or a little bit after that. And we'll know if Apple's inviting me and others as well, but either way, that's what we can expect with WWDC, the new logo here that we have, and hopefully we get some surprises we weren't expecting. Let me know what you want most from iOS 18, what you expect from WWDC. And of course I'll link this wallpaper in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.